Okay, folks, welcome back. As always, I do thank you for watching, taking the time out of your day to click on this video, and uh, we're all set. I'm ready to bond this panel in place. You saw me in that last video carve out a path for this drain line right here, and I decided to just go ahead and bond it all in at once. And I'll just make up a little bit of extra epoxy and uh, bond this to these little cutouts right here. And at the same time, uh, when I get ready to bond this panel to the keel beam and, and uh, tack it down with these ribs. Now, I'm going to bond it solid along here, right up to this point. And uh, I'm just going to bond the flat section first, and then I'll fight that bend later. But, uh, like I said, this will be solid, but then I'm still going to uh, do the same thing I did with that side right there. I'm going to tack it at uh, several locations and then uh, fill it, put the fillet beads in later. All right, folks, that is the game plan, and uh, when I get ready to do that, I'll set the camera up and take you through it. Catch you next segment. Okay, folks, I've already wet down the panels. I didn't see the need to show you that again. I've got the thickened epoxy mixed up and I'm ready to start bonding this panel. Okay, so as you can see, I've got, I've just got as uh, much weight on that thing as I can find to put on it. Paint cans, kerosene, stuff for your windshield washer in your car. Just anything I can find just to weigh that down and make that sit nice and flat right there while that cures overnight. And uh, I previously put this tape on here for an alignment mark. Everything's nice and even. So now, all I need to do is go underneath the boat and uh, make sure all that epoxy is um, nice and, and even, make sure it's spread nice and even. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna show that because uh, like I showed you in that last video, there's really nothing to see while I'm underneath the boat. So that is it, that is all. I thank you for watching. Good night, and I will see you in the morning. Okay, folks. Well, it is bonded in place. And I was going to come out and pack this outboard edge with epoxy. But when I tried to open my garage door, that's what was waiting for me this morning. Broken uh, garage door lift spring. So there goes the rest of my day. I know what I'll be doing. I'm hoping I don't have to pull that entire shaft down. I might have to. I don't know if that spring is flexible enough to make that corner right there or not. I may have to take that whole shaft down. But, like I said, my day's shot. Thank you for watching. Okay, folks, welcome back. Repairs are complete. Got my garage door back. It opens and closes now like it's supposed to. 
I actually could not find springs at Home Depot or Lowe's, so I ended up calling a garage door company here locally. And uh, for the price they quoted me, uh, it, it didn't make sense for me to spend all day trying to run all over the Dallas-Fort Worth area trying to find uh, these springs right here. He came out. Uh, of course, he had some on hand. He was done 20 minutes. Man, it was well worth it. It, it was worth it to pay, uh, especially with what he quoted me. Uh, actually, it's under $200, so yeah, money well spent. I would have spent all day <laughs> trying to get, the, get that thing uh, working right again. Uh, like I said, he was done in under 20 minutes. All right, let's talk about the boat. Now, I'm ready to uh, go ahead and pack this seam with epoxy. That's what I set out to do this morning when that happened. So uh, I'll get the garage door open here in a second. and. Uh, We'll get busy. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, the epoxy's mixed up and ready to start packing that joint. Okay, let me get this mask off so I can talk. I need to zoom back out a little bit too. Okay, there we go. So that's it. I've got that outboard edge packed and I stopped right here because uh, this is as far as I bonded this panel last night and uh, I'll do the rest later on when I get this bonded down right here at the nose. Let me shine my flashlight on it. There we go. Uh, when I get that panel uh, bonded right up here at the nose of the bow, uh, we'll finish packing uh, this edge right here. And uh, yeah, really nothing more uh, that I can elaborate on there. We've got a nice Nice little even spread right there. I'd say that joint's nice and full. Like I said, this, this is as far as I wanted to go tonight. All right, folks, same thing as last night. Uh, I've got to go underneath the boat, and there's really nothing to see when I'm underneath there. So we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.